it the Royal Caribbean? Yes. Ready to check out. Welcome to the Jared. Quantum of the Seas Royal Caribbean. So, we just dined. We just went through security. Now it's time for us to venture into the ship and yeah. find our room. Okay, let's go. Wow, there's a lot of people over here, guys. It's amazing. That's where we're gonna go. I mean, look at this. Yeah. There's still people oh, coming. All until the evening. No, oh, it's at 3 p.m. The gate. That's, that's the evening. This is deck seven. And we are waiting for our room to be ready. And as you can see, guys, it's empty. I don't know where's our roommates. What can you see about that, Jared? Well, right now the cruise is a perfect mixture of hot and cold. cold. So hot that you can sweat, but then it can freeze you. Yep. Worth it. I think it's gonna be good, especially because. Uh, okay, is that is that say nope or hope? Okay, hope. hope. Yeah, because they had one that said hope and pray, and it was on deck thirteen. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we should talk to them about like maybe they might want to revisit that because you know superstition and everything. Deck thirteen, hope and pray. May God have mercy on your soul. Yeah, we're talking about about that, like hope, because every um state room. Oh, what is it? Every oh, yeah, take charge of your happiness. Yeah, hope. something like every deck three, deck four. They're always like that. Something like a coat or you know. Yeah, but there's our area. Can we find? 
Where are we gonna go, babe? Where's our room? Our, no, the number of our room is. Hello, hello. hello. The, the number of our room is five ninety, right? Five ninety. Yes. Oh. So that's not our room. Let's see here. So, this is the hallway, and this is the elevator. Where? I don't know. Room 590, so you see okay. from 510 to 636. Yeah, so as of now, the door is closed. Okay, so stitch rooms on this tag will be ready by 1 p.m. And what time is now? It, 12 39. It's almost there. Almost time. Yep. Oh, your jacket, ba? Oh, Found my luggage. Found my luggage, guys. Which you'll find on the Royal Caribbean app. On the back of your seat, you'll find your seat pass card. Yeah. Remember, the sooner you check in at your assigned assembly station, the sooner you can get back to enjoy the courts of the seat. Okay, okay, dokey. We're here, guys. Please book your reservations for dinner. 590, welcome aboard. Wow. Oh my god, guys, this is amazing. Um, where's the switch? So, wow, it smells good. The switch? This is the switch. Really? I didn't know that. Okay, try. Oh, okay. Is that your card? Yeah. You put it in there? You didn't push the button? No, I didn't put it there. Oh my god. So, guys, welcome to the Quantum of the Seas. We are in Tag 7. <laughs> So that's not mine and this is my husband guys so i'm gonna show you so this is the mirror when you um get I mean, this is the entrance uh, this is our door and then when you come here this is the mirror it's a full body mirror and look around that's the bed oh yeah mm, smells so good guys and mm, we need to try to put some clothes on this area and that's the tv Okay, I will show you that one later, but let's see here first. Okay, this is the closet. Oh, thank God, there's a lot of hangers. Because I'm gonna put some of the formal uh, clothes. So I'm gonna put it there. Very good, yeah, it's very spacious. And the bathroom. So, okay, be careful. That uh, This is the bathroom, guys. So, it's not... Uh, still the same the one that we went before so this is the you know yeah it's clean yeah so everything there's a towel guys and over there and okay what's there free okay it's a soup 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 everything there and let's try if it's flushing okay it's working guys so just put it there Everything's good, everything's fine. So, it's a wave. Can you wait? So, this is the, the legendary um, couch <laughs> and quantum of the seas. Another storage. Oh, extra pillows, guy. Yep, amazing. That's nice. And. When you do um right, makeup or something, if you want, like get ready, there's like a uh, mirror to here. And go, cool, cool. Another drawers. Oh, for her dryer. Another one, another one, another one. Okay, um, what is this, babe? Ref? Is this ref? Or the safe. Oh, the safe. Oh, it's big. Oh, it looks like a refrigerator. Huh? You must make sure. It's just. Oh, yeah. It's a refrigerator. <laughs> okay, it's a prank. It's a prank. So, where's the. Safe. Okay. So, everything what's here. Um, like Okay. So, this is the story, guys. Because we are so early, earlier. And um, when we get here, the people are still working on the on their rooms. And then. Because. Um, we went to um, 
look around and that's why we just talk one of the personal a uh, personal here if we can um um like uh put our backpacks and then they're fine so that's ours so that's our backpacks here so we we, we came here what time is it maybe like 11 a.m in the morning 11 yeah, yeah or 12 so, oh yeah i think 11 so our backpack is already here so i think we, wait all of that is it's not a part it's only like stuff but our id is on our um this little bag so so can you share the you know baby let's see so this is the most awaited event <laughs> so we get a hook up we're gonna try to open pull to lock push okay. unlock Okay. Okay, it's here, guys. Ooh, did you hear that? Okay. It's okay. It's slide, not push. Okay, so this is a sliding door. Okay, you just do that, guys, and slide it. Welcome to the view. Wow, this is amazing. So this is a terrace that we got, and there's a two chairs, there's step stool, everything. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is our first time that we we, uh, we have a balcony because a lot of the way we sell is we don't have balcony. It's only um um in the room. Yeah. Ocean view. Ocean view. Yeah. That was the other and. This, this year we decided to get a balcony because we, we're gonna go to Alaska and you know Alaska is have the best view ever so it's worth it to spend your money and get a balcony so that's the view guys as you can see that you see that that uh, no that one the space needle and very um overlooking the view of the seattle washington so that's a view guys this is amazing amazing worth it worth it to buy worth it to upgrade so stay tuned for more videos guys bye, bye. Hey, hello hi <laughs> some breakfast and the waves are a little bit rough today mm -hmm. which still beautiful still good but you can see the views better you can feel the power of the ocean right now 
So this morning, good morning guys. So we decided to go in the main dining for breakfast. And yeah, that's only my outfit. <laughs> Two letter is we have a formal attire later. So, hi on. Let's go. Go on it down now. You have the morning from our room. Seas are a little bit rough today, just just a little bit, and uh, it's still a beautiful day to see. I got my coffee, I got my croissant, my lounge chairs. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, this is our breakfast. Chocolate croissant. Mm. I eat already my breakfast at the place in Sweden, Chalmara. And then I decided to come back here as soon as we done because I feel busy because the ship is uh, it's on the wall. And I just want to enjoy my coffee on my balcony. Yeah. And but it's good. It's, it's not really bad. That so this is our back around guys as you can see the uh, it's a little bit around yeah so that's the outside here yeah so so a lot of people asking like what it feels like if you are in the seventh floor the deck seven um yeah you always see this yellow boat but it's a little bit far away. It's still, you know, good. Because whatever happens, you are close in here, you know. <laughs> what I mean? So it's still really clean here. Look at that. See that? Okay. So right now, he's enjoying his coffee and croissant. Don't want to die, no. So you can see that guys we are around in Vancouver okay welcome to Vancouver there and then So this is our day to die. So that's all for tonight. Oh yeah. We're going back to the room. To the room. And I don't know if we will um go again to the real theater because it's a little bit like Rocky Road. The sea right now is not I don't know because because we have a type when there's a type on the toy the toy oh uh, that's what happened today. Day three Sitka Alaska. Alaska. So guys this is day three and we're gonna go um, to Sitka. Sitka Alaska and because we have an excursion uh I don't know what kind of excursion though we can I forgot the name but i'm gonna show you later because i'm gonna take a video as much as i could and then yeah this is our outfit we are about to land it in setka because uh we can see now the mountains and the trees we're about to land it so but right now most importantly we're gonna eat breakfast yeah we're gonna eat breakfast we will go to wind jumper um yeah this is our outfit because it's a little bit cold but it's not it's not like a, it's cold and windy and you know, and then this also so you gotta go now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we oh got it. <laughs> there it is. Welcome, Welcome to, Sitka, to Sitka, Alaska, Alaska, guys. We are ready for our excursion.
Which one? I'm not surprised at this. Not bad, no? About 10, no, 80 miles north of Juneau. So if anybody wants to do a midlife career change, go up there and learn how to cook. The Clinkets were pretty much used to all these strange white people coming up from down south in their big boats, hunting and fishing for a while and then leaving. But the Russians were a new thing. Uh, they'd already, the Clinkets had already experienced Americans, British, French, Spanish came up and they went even further west and established two towns that to this day have Spanish names. You've heard of the expression, the Exxon Valdez oil spill? Yeah. Anyway, um, the most was that the Russians were using another native tribe as slaves. As the Russians were coming down the Aleutian Islands getting fur and sea otter, and they heard the noise and saw the smoke and knew something was wrong. They came running down to the beach where there was a British ship at anchor and begged the British sea captain to save their lives, to save them from the Clickets. So they put them, took them water, take off, and head up to wherever those passengers were going to. They used to be the terminal now, the cannery, and the unique winter business of cutting the ice into blocks, putting it on a sailing ship to sail. Russia. Um, two other 
bishops who lived there also were sainted. One of them was a clinket. People are walking when they're not supposed to. <laughs> this is ideal, actually. Either side is good. You got the islands on the left, you got the town on the right. And this hall, okay, right up here, you're going to see a stone wall from the top of this hill. This is right at the shore. Those are old military barracks and military buildings from World War II. That's, okay. down the That's the runway for That's this. the runway for our 737s to land. Can you imagine? Alaska Air and Delta. One of our boat harbors up ahead. We got five of them. You can see some of the, well, never mind. Too late. Now that Russian, or that Clinket port, where you see the land coming out to this bit, to the end, that peninsula, that's where the Clinket port was. Excursion? A city bus tour. Yeah, that's on uh, that's on our excursion today. And Beautiful downtown Skagway. Outfit check. Yeah, because um, it's I think thirty plus the lower, and the high is forty, so a little bit cold. So you need to be have a uh, formal water clothes. So these are back round guys, as you can see that. Yeah, I think you see those uh something like, you know, like a landslide. I think that's what they said uh, in our group that there's a landslide in Skagway. Yeah, it's a pretty bad, but I, but thankfully that it's fine now. So yeah. Welcome to Juno. Oh, I forgot my Juno, babe. So yeah, we are highway, our road. It's from the north end of town. It goes 500 miles north to northern Yukon, Canada. To this was prospecting. I mean, all over. Guys, can you keep it down? Thank you. I want to know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't don't listen to this part. <laughs> it's a, an old gold rush billboard. It's meant to be a pocket watch. Oh. And actually, all these trees were cut down for timber to build these buildings. And the business owners during the rush saw all that rock face as free advertising space. So there were hundreds of ounces up there, real classy like. Cheers, bro. They have a beer and celebrate fighting all this gold. And. The way you pay for a beer, you know, if you're coming off the ships from anywhere in the world. Had someone watching after her because she's got a more ornate edge on her. She was known in town because she not only has the date of death, she also has the date of birth. And she has this Victorian era. Corridor through the uh, pass, it's all black hair. And then Dai, the miles over, it's all brown hair. Because his bears have flakes This is like West Virginia. You know? Look at my background. 
Virginia, you should visit it also in West Virginia. Uh, So we're heading in our cruiser right now and we got something we bought a two t-shirt for two for twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. I think that's in the trading corporation and I was that but it's only cool to hear you in cruise ship. So yeah, we're heading our way. That's what they said about, I guess, our generation and everything, like, that's what we invest a lot. Waterfalls, guys. Look at this one, guys. It's a waterfall. Mm -hmm. From there to down there. Yeah. Here! Yeah. 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 There you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the team been looking after you for your breakfast. Lunch and dinner. One more time, everybody. Make Get ready for the adventure. Come here. This is the Juno Alaska, guys. One thing about and Juno Alaska is the downtown is very, very close. And the ship. 
So look at that. I think that's a falls, waterfalls on the top of the mountain there. And yeah, as you can see here, there's a little translation here. But the only thing that I love it is we have a Filipino translation there, which is Magali Gayang Pag, the team, welcome home, so we call welcome back, something like that. And we are ready for our next question. Mendin Hall Glacier and Salmon. That's a gold trim, gold bell, I know, at gold trim. Yeah, we never, we don't have that kind of excursion. Yeah, but that's a gold trim. By the top. Yeah, from there. Stoked. What, what can you say? I said I'm stoked, super excited. And we are heading to our excursion here in um, Juneau, Alaska. Outfit again. Here it is. Pictures. My hand is on your little phone. Welcome to Juneau. Okay, it's our best. Mending. Having fun. How about you? You having fun? Uh, but before we get started, I'll just go over a couple of safety features for the bus. So if they're going to be favor and look up, down, like down. All right, you should have seen later on. Did you see that police are guys? It's amazing. Oh my god, guys. Look at that blazers. And over here is the Nugget Falls. It's your turn, guys. Welcome yeah. to the glacier, guys. And the, the, the other side is the nugget Oh, oh. <laughs> Bye, glazers. Bye, nugget falls. Unbelievable, guys. But unfortunately, we didn't have time to go all the way down the trail to my good Yeah, because that's not included our excursion. That's only like, you know, but that's fine. I love spending more in glaciers than that. And I know you're over there saying, like, masa. Oh. Like it? 
You like it, ba? Mine. Babe. <laughs> Salmon. Salmon jerky. Oh. Heaven. <laughs> I still try, but I don't like fish. <laughs> Very good. They're producing beef. guys this is so amazing this is Juneau Alaska and look at this surroundings here it's amazing yeah should we move it here day five of cruising we are going to be in the main dining hall for breakfast and we're gonna see what they have to offer yeah let's get oh, but before that today is our day at sea yeah so, so no excursions no boards. tomorrow we'll in, be in british columbia yeah and we're gonna see there and today we're just like chilling and relaxing today because it's been it's been days that we always went to this caution but i'm just saying that every day's been like relaxation yeah but you're not like hurry you know you know yeah, yeah, i'm not hurry no okay so i'll we'll see you too later i'll see you later Hey guys, welcome to Welcome to Canada, yeah. Victoria, British Columbia. And we are ready for our excursion. See you later. I'm sorry. Peeking into the Olympic Mountain Range. Yeah, Mount Olympus. Oh. You see, our American neighbors, they're only 24 miles away from us. Mm -hmm. And you know, in 1670, the first business was used them to this day for maps. Now, if you look to the right-hand side here, this field doesn't look too exciting, does it? Uh, the uh, putty green is in behind. <laughs> got a few good tail feathers on him. Have you ever seen yeah, him courting the female? Let me tell you folks, that tail comes up and he fans out three of them in fact. Oh, that is lovely to see. And you know, those males right now, Oh yeah, over there. they're out there head buddy. It's so running season. Yeah. I saw and I noticed it's flying a little lower down, which is kind of unusual. Honestly, I don't know why. One was a little dog. His name was Billy. The other one was a monkey called Wu. Yeah, he was a real intelligent creature. She taught him how to serve tea. He could how to do needlepoint. And 
which he used often Peter Earthquake and Fire. Yeah, we had a lot of brick foundries here. So Ooh, that's beautiful. It's actually going to be well, you know, we're now gonna head up Fort Street. And Fort Street back in there. But you know, we have not only English heritage folks, we find it four story high, but it's all kind of beautiful passage. <laughs> oh, we're just quiet. <laughs> You'll find out. That's right. I'm trying to warn them. <laughs>